Hi everyone, Lori Whitlock here. I am excited to show you this cute Christmas Advent calendar that I've created. It consists of 25 little two inch boxes that have a little drawer that pulls out and you can put little treats inside of the drawers um, for each day of the month in December leading up to Christmas. So it's really easy to put together and I wanna to show you how to do that. I've gone ahead and assembled most of this, but you'll notice the last little bit here is not put together yet. Um, basically, this is kind of what it looks like on the back. It's just 25 little boxes all glued together in this fashion. So let me flip that back over so you can see the front. But you can see um, in the picture, you'll probably kind of wanna follow that as far as placement of all the different colors. Um, I've organize the file for you with like blacks and lights and reds and I've used just so you're aware uh, my Echo Park Celebrate Christmas uh, six by six paper pad for all of these pieces so for instance I used the little red stripe on the back it has little squares so I didn't use that for any of the patterns uh, but I used this black uh, floral print and then on the back side we have the little snowflake print and I flipped the paper over on some of the black pieces and just used that print for the other side. Same with this paper here. Um, I actually didn't use the plaid but you can that's the fun thing about these double-sided papers. You can go ahead and cut it one direction then flip it over and use the other. So I've used the little snowflake and I didn't end up using the ornaments. So and here's the larger snowflake and I didn't end up using the back of that either. Um, on this print, we've got the little red snowflakes and we didn't use the back there. So mainly I just flipped over this print here and this one here. I can't, oh, this one was actually green on the back. So um, it was actually just like this. It was green on one side and craft colored on the back. So I flipped that over for a couple of the green ones that you'll find in the file. So um, I also use, just so you're aware, and I don't know if you want to do this or not, but I used the Celebrate Christmas coordinating solids and I used the two green uh, solid pieces in this to cut out the outer boxes. So this outside portion and then I used the lighter green for the inner boxes. Um, if you do that, just be aware that you're going to need to buy three of these and you'll need one of these. So it might be more economical just to get some green solid cardstock. But I had I use that because I have it on hand. Anyways, the little six by six pad looks like this. It comes with a lot of really cute prints that you can mix and match to use in this advent. So, and as you can see, I didn't end up using all of any of those six by six prints. This kind of shows you how much of each of them that I ended up using. So really doesn't take that many uh, pattern papers, my, mainly that green base. It also takes um, a large piece to cover the back, and I'm going to show you how to cover the back here in a minute. But first of all, I wanted to show you the individual boxes. They are really, really simple to put together. There's just two glue tabs here and here. So you just pull those sides up and glue them in place. And the inner box is just the same. You just pull those sides up and glue those two tabs and then pull this side up and glue those two tabs. And after you make 25 of these and 25 of these, so you'll have 50 box pieces. They just slide together like that. And then you embellish the fronts with all the little pieces that I've given you in the file. So all the little numbers are all ready for you to cut out. So in order to put this together, I just went ahead and glued number 20 to 21 to 22 to 23 24 25 and made that whole row and then i went ahead and made the next row and the next row and the next row and the next row and right now i'm going to go ahead and make the two and three row and we'll glue that on top of this row when we're done so it's really quite easy to put together i'll just i just use the little um uh, th let's see the 3m glue scott's glue and I will put a uh, link to that in the description of this. And I loaded it into my little glue bottle with a needle nose on it. And then we just glue those next to each other. And it's really good to use the table as you're gluing that to make sure you get it nice and square in all directions. And then let that dry. And then you're going to take your number one and just stack that right in the middle on the top of there. So I'm going to go ahead and put some adhesive on that bottom. So we'll go ahead and put that on. This 
just make sure you center that right here where it's just in the middle of each of those uh, pull tabs on the drawer. And then we'll take that whole set and just glue it right on top of this row here. So flip that over and just holding everything nice and tight as it's drying. And we'll just flip that over and put it right there. Just hold everything in place while it dries. And then we're going to flip the entire project over. Try not to have all those drawers fall out. And I made a covering panel for the back. And just so you're aware, this is 12 inches wide and this is 14 inches tall. So obviously that won't fit on most 12 by 12 sheets of paper and you won't be able to cut it on your cutting machine. So I went ahead and inset that about a quarter of an inch all the way around um, so that you can glue it on the back. If you have a silhouette and you want to offset that another eighth of an inch, I believe your silhouette will cut that out just fine. But with the Cricut, I know that this will be your maximum width that you'll be able to cut. Uh, that's a limitation there. So we're going to go ahead and glue this little piece up here at the top to cover up that last little section. So I'm going to move the advent out of the way for just a minute. I'm going to put adhesive here on this little section. I don't know about you guys, but I've been getting ready for Thanksgiving at my house and I've been cleaning and working really hard getting ready for everybody and I broke a nail right before I was supposed to shoot this video. So sorry about that. I, I need to go in and get my, my nail fixed. Okay, so that completes the back piece. And now we're just going to glue this whole piece on the back. And it just kind of finishes off the back of the advent. So I'm going to go ahead, and you can do this with some pattern paper if you wanted it to look a little more decorative. Um, but I just wanted it to kind of blend in and look like a tree on the back side. Not that anybody's even going to see the back. You wouldn't really have to cover the back if you don't want to, but. I like it when projects looked finished, so I went ahead and included that in the file. Let's go ahead and uh, put some glue on here pretty liberally across the whole back. And you need to work fairly quickly because this glue does have a tendency to dry pretty fast. And just make sure you get those edges really good so it doesn't peel up. And we'll just take that piece and flip it right over. And like I said, there's about a quarter of an inch all the way around. So you should be able to just center that and put it in place. And then just give that a good firm press. And I'm just going to flip that over carefully, see if I can... Actually, I'm going to slide something under there so my drawers don't come flying out. Flip that over. Just give that a good press on the table and our advent is completed. So I hope you have fun making these. This is a great project to do with kids. Um, and it'll be fun to fill them up with little, little tiny treats for each day of the month of December. It's a fun tradition to do with your family. Something really fun to look forward to each day. So I hope you have fun with this and I hope you have a great Thanksgiving week. Um, if you're watching this this week and a great Merry Christmas holiday season coming up. Um, starting here just after Thanksgiving. So have a great day and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.